Oh my God. They dumped so much of it out. They're gonna get nuts. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Eight ten a.m. I was refilling all of the water bowls for the cats and I decided I would put a larger container of water out for them. Stella really seems to like water. She's attracted to it on my legs when I get out of the shower and um, today I had some wet hands and I was petting her head. Oh and she was going crazy. Like she really loved it. So I put this container of water out and of course I didn't have my camera with me at the time so I went upstairs, I got the camera I just came back down and now Stella's scratching on the litter box and Simba's walking around so I don't know if they were checking it out or not. Meanwhile, last night this paper bag um, came down the steps and uh, it's down here now and Stella's been laying on it. Hello Stella. Stella. Stella, you're a pretty girl. Pretty girl Stella. There you go, Simba. Today all the cats are eating on their platters. Simba and Boo just got in like a little tiff. So um, Simba's trying to avoid Boo. And uh, Splash was eating with Stella. And now he's wandering around. Hopefully he'll come back and eat with Boo. He should. Or else he'll go back and eat on their platter. But I'm back to paper platters today because I'm so tired of washing that plastic platter. If the cats finish the food on the other platter, then they'll go eat on Boo's platter. Yeah, you see how smart Stella is? So Stella just went over to Boo's platter to eat part of the rabbit nugget because they go to the rabbit nuggets right away. That's like their favorite food. And um, so she took part of it and she moved it off the platter. She'll probably go back to it though. Ten o two a.m. Splash is hanging out on this cat tower. For some reason, he loves it in this location. I think it's because he gets a view of three different rooms from where he is now. He's so silly. Splash, you're a silly boy. Boo's laying on the bed. He got a lot of pets. Stella's been laying in the scratch and roll. This is her new thing. She likes to lay there with her front arm stretched out. I guess it's comfortable for her. Okay, Stella? You're a nice girl, Stella. Good morning, Simba. Today, Today, three of the cats jumped on the bed. First, Boo jumped on the bed. He wanted some pets. He ended up laying on top of me for a while and taking a nap. Then he moved to the bottom of the bed. And then Stella jumped on the bed to get her pets. And then Simba jumped on the bed. They did not all jump on the bed at the same time, but they took turns. Hello, Boo. I've been putting the cats in the stroller, but they jump right out. Oh, there's Simba. Simba's gonna come up. Boop, there he goes, on the tower. Hello, Splash. How are you, Splashy? You a good boy?
Splash likes that fly swatter. The cats are eating on their paper platters this morning. And Splash is only a few feet away from Simba right now. He's contemplating. He's contemplating whether he is going to eat with the cats or wait and eat after the cats. Here he comes. He's looking at Simba and Stella's platter. He has room on Boo's platter. Go ahead, Splashy. Eat on Boo. You could eat on Boo's platter. Eat on Boo's platter, Splash. Eat on the same platter Boo is eating at. You could do it. Yesterday, the cats had dinner in their automatic feeders. They each had one of the Instinct chicken medallions and one of the Primal rabbit nuggets. And when I got back, Boo had eaten his rabbit nugget, but his Instinct medallion was still here. And right now they're both gone, but I don't know that he necessarily ate them or if maybe a different cat ate it. It's 9 a.m. and look. I just got Simba in the stroller. He was sitting on a cat tower and I picked him up off of the cat tower and I put him in the stroller and I had to pet him a lot to kind of keep him in the stroller. Then I said, I wonder what would happen if I kind of, you know, put the cover of the stroller down. It's not zipped up. I did not zip it up. I just put it over him. And what I'm kind of thinking is that I might need to get the bigger stroller. Now, they didn't have any bigger strollers in Home Goods. They only had this size, which could be good because, you know, these cats really can't move around much in the stroller. Look, they could sit up, they can lay down. Um, but I feel like when I've seen other people with their cats in strollers, there's usually more room in the stroller. Now, I could be totally wrong. It could be that they just have cats that are not as big and not as fluffy. But, I mean, so far he seems to like it. He's been, he's rubbing up against it. And he's not going crazy trying to get out. I mean, now he is a little bit, he's rubbing up against the sides. Simba, do you like the stroller? You like it? Yeah. There. I just moved the tag. How are you doing, Simba? No, I'm not moving the stroller at all because I know if I move it, he's going to freak out. So far, he's just checking it out. He has not tried to escape yet. He's just rubbing, rubbing himself. Okay. We don't bite that, Simba. We don't bite it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You can get out if you want. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there. Stay there. Stay there. It's nice. You could sit there. Simba, you could sit there. It's nice. You could sit in here. It's nice. Simba, it's nice. Okay. All right. I'm thinking maybe I should take some of the toys out of here. Like maybe all these. The cats love these, but maybe they don't want them in the stroller. Look what they have done to the bottom of this cat tower. Oh my gosh. This all needs to be cleaned up. They have gone crazy. They are just tearing this thing apart. Boo has decided he needs to lay on me as I'm sitting here on the couch editing a video. Hey, Boo. Who's hanging out on the sofa with me? He looks so cute. He was like laying in the corner, but then he fell down. Right now it's 6:15 p.m. and I was just going outside because I just scooped out all the litter. And look, Hydrox is sitting next to the feeder. He's like waiting to be fed. I have never seen him do this before, like ever. Hydrox is getting one of the I'm's Perfect Portions. This is the salmon flavor. Uh, I put his herbs in it and I gave him some of the bench and field treats. The bench and field treats are really kind of like uh, vitamins for cats because they're full of vitamins and minerals. And um, the only thing I did not put in was some extra water. So um, 
Yeah, I'll give this to Hydrox now. There you go, Hydrox. You can eat your food. Eat your food, Hydrox. Hydrox just went over to eat his food. And if he eats that, I will give him another perfect portion. Okay, he's eating the bench and field treat. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but when he eats, he does favor the right side of his mouth. So I don't know if he has an issue with the left side of his mouth, but he does eat. He eats well. It is 6.45 p.m. The cats are eating their dinner. They are being fed on paper platters again. And Splash hopefully should come up and eat. I mean, there's plenty of room for him right there. So, he's on the steps right now. He's only like six feet away. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, Splash, you could do it. You could do it, Splash. You could eat. There we go. All four cats eating on their paper platters. This is very good. Each paper platter has the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets on the long end. And on the shorter end, those are the Instinct Raw Medallions. It is 10.30 p.m. right now. And I went downstairs, and all of the cats followed me downstairs. So I gave them some crunchies downstairs on their fancy crunchy plate. And um, for some reason, Stella's not eating, and Splash is not eating. I don't know why. So, that's what they're getting. It is 11.53 p.m. I was hoping to get to bed early today, but I don't see that happening. We just had some playtime downstairs. And now the cats are having some crunchies in the kitchen. Boo is starting to feel more at home downstairs. Like he enjoyed himself with the playtime down there. He didn't just stay on the stairs. He was down there on the rug too. And the sofa down there is so comfortable with the new slip cover on it you could seriously every time I sit on it it's just like okay I could lay down and take a nap good boy splash today the cats are eating their breakfast on the paper platters again Simba started eating on boost platter Still is eating on the other platter, and Splash is waiting just a few feet away. Here's Splash. He needs to join in. It's about 11.30 a.m. right now. I'm just about to go to Lowe's. And here's Hijax. He's hanging out on the driveway. But then when I opened the car door, he ran into the bushes. Hey, Hijax. Hijax, you want to come with me? You want to go for a ride? Come on, we'll go in the car. Come on, let's go. You want to come in? I'll open the back. Come on, Hydrax, you could come. I don't think he wants to go with me. 9.25 p.m. I have Simba in the stroller, and I've been wheeling him around the house. I just went to the other room to get the uh, camera, but I want to continue giving him a ride around the house. Let's see if he stays in there. Here's Simba in the stroller. I'm on the play rug right now. Stella's in the scratch and roll. Hello, Simba. I'm just kind of wheeling him back and forth to get him used to being in a stroller. Maybe Simba will be the first cat that takes a ride outside in a stroller. Maybe. I still don't trust him, though, because he's the one that escaped from the playpen. So what I would have to do is, like, put a harness on him and clip him into the stroller. He's, he's going to jump because I did not have it zippered closed. I only had it kind of like, like shut. So because Simba was a good boy, he got some cat crack 
which is some of this catnip. Basically, I opened this container of catnip and I let him eat some of it and uh, he's really happy about it. Now, Stella and the other cats, not so much. They're like, where's theirs? Stella, you gotta go in the stroller if you want some catnip. You want some catnip? You gotta go for a ride in the stroller. Okay, so I said I was not going to do it, but I just did it. I just put a whole bunch of catnip in the stroller, so let's see. Are any of the cats gonna jump in the stroller because there's catnip in it? So this time, I put Simba in the stroller and I actually zipped it up. And uh, we went for a ride around the house. And we've been taking little rides around the play rug. And right now, I put the stroller back where it was between the cat towers. Now Simba has some catnip. The other cats have not had catnip. I'm just curious to see what he's going to do. Is he going to destroy this thing? Hello, Simba. Is he going to lay down? There's a bunch of catnip in there. Oh, he's eating some of the catnip that's inside of here. I think it would be cool to have a stroller that's like big enough for multiple cats at the same time. And uh, yeah, this one is not big enough for multiple cats. Maybe. Yeah, no. Not even. Because these are big cats. Stella's watching. She's like, what's going on in there? And Simba's just licking up the catnip. Okay, I'm going to let him stay in here for a little while and I'm going to go try to edit a video. Stella's watching. She's very concerned. So right now Simba is laying down in here and uh, he pretty much takes up the whole area. Hello, Simba. Do you like the stroller? I just tried to put Stella in the stroller and she cried so much. I'm letting Stella eat some catnip right now because... <gasps> oh no! Oh my God! They dumped so much of it out. They're gonna get nuts. Okay, move. Move. I gotta try to get to it before they get to it. The rug is covered in catnip. Okay, I think that's a good amount. I got a good amount out. They're gonna be nuts. I'll give some to Boo. Boo, you want some catnip? That way they're all equal. They're not getting any crunchies tonight because they're getting catnip. Maybe they'll get zonked out and let me cut their nails. That would be great. 
Boo's eating some catnip. We're done. Here. Here. I put a little bit on his crunchy plate. And these three over here, they're like vultures. I just put some catnip on the rug near Splash. And he's going crazy rolling around in it. The good thing about dried herbs like catnip is that they're not going to attract ants like the crunchies would. Uh oh. Simus smelling someone's butt. She might get mad. Now when Splash and Simba were living outside and they had too much catnip, they would usually get in fights. See? Some things never change. Stella had too much catnip right now. Eleven, eleven p.m. I don't know what's going on. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.